It's recess at the school in central Bosnia. Happy kids of all backgrounds play together, eat together, tease, flirt, and gossip together. But when the bell rings, something remarkable happens. Children who are ethnically Croatian and predominantly Catholic make their way to classrooms on the first floor. Their Bosniak Muslim playmates head upstairs for their lessons. It's two schools under one roof, with two separate principals, and even two names, one for each ethnicity represented. While all students use the same lesson plan for math and science, language, history and geography have different curriculums. Mujo Zahirovic is the Muslim principal. He wishes he would be allowed to combine the two schools. The education system would be much cheaper. There would be much more money for better education standards, better salaries for teachers, and to equip the school. I guarantee that we could merge the schools in two to three days. If the government would allow it, we're ready. But it is unlikely the school will be reunified anytime soon. It is emblematic of a country still struggling with its identity and history 14 years after the end of its brutal civil war. A war that claimed 100,000 lives and taught the world the term ethnic cleansing. While the country has not returned to conflict, its geography has remained ethnically defined. A Muslim Croat federation makes up half the country, while Bosnia's third major ethnic group, the Serbs, have their own state within the state. Here at the school, these ethnic divisions are most obvious in the students' history books. They contain no events at all after 1990, just before the war broke out. All possible content that could be insulting to any of the people of Bosnia and Herzegovina was taken out of the textbooks. Most of the last 20 years of the history of our country is not in primary school textbooks. Do you think that's a good thing for students or a bad thing, that the last 20 years basically didn't happen according to the history books here in this country? My personal opinion is that until all sides in Bosnia agree on facts about what happened in the last 20 years, I think it is good. But I hope that we will reach a time when some things could be described in the way they actually happened. It's a long, long-term tradition of Balkan region. Different myths about numbers of killed, uh, different myths about events, about huge battles here, winners and losers, and all these terrible things. Mirsad Tokacha runs the Bosnian Research and Documentation Center. His life's goal is to ensure that the history Bosnians will have for their future is one based on facts, not politics. The main aim of facts is to prevent manipulation, political and ideological manipulation with the past. Uh, what we wanted, in fact, is to ensure that some kind of deviation of history could not happen. Inside a modest building on a back street of the Bosnian capital, Sarajevo, Tokacha's staff of young men and women is busy scanning, typing, recording, and assembling what will likely be the definitive account of what happened during Bosnia's civil war. The result, almost finished now, is called Bosnia's Book of the Dead. It will list the names, personal details, and manner of death of all 100,000 people Tokacha says died in the war. There is a small window in which we have short description what happened, when to this person, under what conditions she was killed. Practically we have history, dossier of every single victim. It's, it's, it's not about number, this is about victims. <laughs> they have their history, their family, their friends. If you reduce everything on numbers, then you will lose humanity. This is Lanishta 1, there is two huge mass graves. Takacha has also just launched a Google Maps atlas that charts the location of every Bosnian war crime, fascinating in its matter-of-fact detailing of some horrifying events. This is mass grave, for example. You can see here excavated body and names of all victims which were excavated from this mass grave. 77 bodies. Takacha believes that only by documenting what happened during the last war can another one be averted. If we don't understand causes of conflict, then there is no sense to collect facts about dead people. You know, we will prevent the society from new war if we understand why war happened. Takacha's work has taken on a new urgency in recent months. 
a political crisis in Bosnia, a deadlock over whether the ethnic partitioning of the country should remain or be dissolved, has deteriorated into ethnically charged rhetoric. Recently, a Bosnian Serb leader accused Muslims of staging one of the most infamous wartime attacks against them. I, I think that the situation in Bosnia is very difficult on the brink of new conflict. I can feel, in fact, in the air how, in fact, the process of political preparation of conflict is going on. And I'm in a situation to, to warn people that the situation is very fragile. It is the next generation Takacha worries about most like those students back at the school in central Bosnia, whose education is still impacted by the war their parents lived through. Still open minds at risk, unless history and politics can be reconciled.